Hello everybody, it's the farm sim guy here, hope you're all doing well. Just about to head back to the farm with this as we finish cultivating that big field there. And we're going to head over to where our old pond used to be. Which is now a big muddy heap of, of uh, soil on the ground. But what we want to do is maybe cut out our new shaped field there. Um, we've got to uh, create fields with cultivator turned on as a mod so we should be able to run around the edge at least and get ourselves set with a uh, with a field outline so we'll head over here um, what we do need to do as well is move all of that stone that we've collected now we do have uh, one of the local contractors coming with a truck to help us out there uh, if you remember in the last episode we couldn't actually load it into our truck as we didn't have uh, stone as a fill type which was frustrating but uh, there it is all the stone that we need and that Volvo needs to go as well very soon we're paying top dollar for the privilege of having that so uh, we might as well use it while we've got it but here we are here is uh, our old field and you can see where we've rolled um, and joined the fields together what we want to do now is cut a new field edge around here it's going to be a nice shaped field actually um, so, before that though, let's get that stone organised and moved out of the way. Hopefully the truck should be here in a little while. And there we are, right on cue. We have got this lovely cab over Kenworth. And the Lusty Tippers from JFL Modding. I'll put a link in the description for the vid for them, if you want to go and pick these up. Actually very nicely done mods, to be honest. So we'll just uh, pull this in here. We will get it over to the pile and we will start loading it up. Hopefully it will all go in the one trailer load, but uh, we shall see. Uh, this is going to go down to the lime production point and be turned into lime for us, which will be helpful. So uh, we may sell some, we shall see. It's quite lucrative, so we don't want to make this kind of too easy. We've got 108,000 in the bank at the moment. Um, so yeah, we don't want to be millionaires at the end of this, but we'll see how we get on. So, let's jump into the Volvo and have one last play in this before we have to send it back. Right. We'll push on with this and we'll be back shortly. There we go, first load done. And I reckon we've probably got at least another one and a half or two there to go. So we'll jump in 60,000 litres here. Which says to me, we're going to have way more than we need. Look at this, struggling under the load here. Look at that. Now, I think it's because he's on the gravel as well, hopefully. When we get into the tarmac, we'll have a little bit more purchase. But he's working. He's working with it. But we'll get this down to the lime cell point. And we will get it unloaded. I have to say, it's really nice to see that struggle under load there with a heavy load on. Um, really nice. We never had that in 19 to that extent, so great to see that realism or element of realism arriving. You can't just tow anything with anything anymore. Really straining under the load. Lurching the body of the uh, truck around a bit. Right, we'll see you at the cell point. So here we are there's the unload point just there. We will just try and reverse in as as easily as we can. Let's see if we've actually got enough power to reverse in. It's looking good though. Just 
struggling a little bit there to get purchases bouncing on the road. And there we go. We've got our trigger finally. So we'll tip this up. Get it all unloaded. Okay, first load done. We are going to head back and collect the rest and try and get this done as quickly as possible. Okay, we're back on the farm now. We have 48,000 litres left in the trailer because um, the production point only takes 12,000 litres. Now, the way this is set up, it creates uh, for every 12 uh, litres of rock, you get 9 litres of uh, lime, which is better than some of the other production points uh, for lime, where you get, I think, four times as much from your rock. So um, that's okay from a overdoing it perspective but it does mean we need somewhere else for this rock in the short term because we want to cut open this ground for the field so I think the best thing to do is probably unload it over here it turns out we probably didn't need to lease this truck um, after seeing that we could have just taken it one of our normal trailers but what I'll do is tip all of this rock here and we can dig into it as and when we need to here we go unloaded so we will just pull him over here in fact, we'll send him. We'll send him right back now to the uh, contractor. We don't need that anymore today. I think we'll just use the digger over there to shift it all over to its new home. Right, let's jump into the Volvo and get all of this sorted. We will see you very shortly, hopefully. Okay, there we go, our last few little bits of stone. That is everything done. We'll park this up and we'll wait for the contractors to come get it in the next couple of days. But that means we can cut the edge of our field now. So let's get that sorted now. Drop this down and power it off and we'll head over to the tractor. Okay, so what I'm keen to do here, I think, is make sure that we join all of this together in a nice relatively straightforward way I don't want too many um, twists and turns in it but I do think it's a much more practical field shape if we've kind of got rounded off edges so hopefully we smoothed everything off that we needed to because the roll is away now so we're stuck with what we've got um, those fields over there I'm going to merge those as well into bigger fields not too big this is a small farm after all, um, but I do want to make sure that it's uh, practical to, to utilise. We've got too many small fields at the moment which are making it a, just a bit of a challenge. So allow create fields, let's press Y. Like I said we've got that uh, mod uh, cultivate to create fields in our uh, mod folder which will allow us to cut this edge here. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of uh, grass on the edge because I want to keep things nice and neat and place really to park tractors, passing places lots of lots of reasons why we want to leave a little bit um, and we're going to follow where the brown land is rather than running all the way over this something like this uh, it's a bit of a lump there actually we're going to need to fix that 
we might need to get Terra Farm out again on the uh, the big digger. It's not bad. And then we're going to head down here. Maybe create a new field entrance. Around about here. Maybe we'll put a fence around it. Could do that as well, couldn't we? There we go. Something like that. It's a nice shallow turn. So it's not too offensive for a combine. Uh, run along the tree edge down here. There we go. A field with character. And we made it ourselves. What's not to like? Again, a few bumps and lumps here we might have to deal with. But in principle, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to keep it a little bit away from this tree. It's quite low down in the ground, that tree. The branches are quite low, so I don't want to be hitting that. With the combine later on. And then round to here. Let's see if we can join up the old field and the new field in a nice way. There we go. And if I lift up now, there we go. I think we've cut our new field edge. Very nice indeed. That corner there is a little bit tight. Not ideal. Um, but that was in the existing field anyway. But that looks pretty good. That is a much better shaped field and a much bigger field and we're utilising that land where the uh, pond was. Who'd have thought there used to be a pond there? Looks really good, doesn't it? Okay. Um, I guess there's nothing more to do than just to push on and get this done. So now in course play, one of the genius things about course play in FS22, if I pick field position now and click, I don't know, somewhere like this, look, it's already picked up the new edge of the field. As long as you've got no breaks where you've ploughed, you don't have to go through the process of lapping the field like you used to. So that looks pretty good. Now, if we do this, we're going to do three headlands. That probably will work. We've just got the one tool. We're going to go with rounded edges to keep things nice and neat. It's a little bit of overlap. I'm worried about this corner here slightly, but we'll give it a go. Let's see how it goes. Uh, generate course plate. Fieldwork course. Let's see if this is going to work calculating and there we go it's something odd going on just here in the middle but we'll uh, we'll not worry about that for now it is actually it's left that edge which is good I like to see that um, but we've got a course there I think we run this and just see how it goes
And there we go. A brand new field, all sorted. Very pleased with that. Okay. Let's move this out of the field. And then we'll have a chat about what we do next. Well, I think first things first, we probably just need to get things cleaned up a bit. I haven't cleaned any tractor since I uh, started this whole series, so better to be safe than sorry, get all of this cleaned up. If Args is watching, he'll be uh, he'll be happy. Um, but yes, that's a good bit of work done, and I'm really, really pleased with that new field. There is stone on it, uh, and I'm trying to decide whether or not it's small stones we can roll under. Or actually something that we might need to go and pick up. But let's go and have a check in a minute once we've uh, washed this off though. I'm loving the scuffs and the paint coming off now. Looking good. Looking good. Right, that's that done. Now over the field, these do look like small stones. I don't think they look huge. So I'm going to take the chance and uh, leave these on. But I think what we'll do is roll the field before we plant it. Same with the other field that we did the other day. Um, we've also got, in between this field over here and the other very, very tiny field that we've already harvested, is a field full of soybeans. So as soon as they're harvested as well, I'm absolutely going to plough these three fields together as well. I mean, the just the size of them is just not really practical. Um, and it means that we can start to group fields together. We've got small fields of soybeans uh, and wheat dotted all over the place, whereas we could merge them all together into one one plot, really. One plot for soybeans, one plot for wheat, one plot for maize, something like that. But uh, like you can see, we've got this here, and then there's another very tiny field behind it. And we've got all this grass space in the middle, so it would be good to kind of merge all of those together as well. So we'll look at those in the next episode as well. I think... Before we go, though, we'll probably just do one last thing, which is uh, top up the cows again. Um, if you remember in the last episode, we talked about not having much more than 8,000 litres worth of space in the TMR mixer. Well, uh, I tweaked the XML in the week, um, and now we can utilise some of the silo storage to store extra TMR for us. So um, what we can do now is uh, put a little bit more into the cow shed and also have a backup there waiting um, so let's just move this out of the way a little bit we're going to be using him again relatively quickly so we uh, don't need to put him too far away but for now he is done for the day so here we are TMR mix you can see there 13,000 litres produced now and if I click on this you will actually see that that um, 13,000 shows how much storage we've got now so we're not going to struggle now look, our grass is starting to go into the red here, um, and our chaff is getting low, so we may utilise some of the uh, uh, corn that we've not harvested yet uh, and do something with that. We've also got the option to do corn silage on its own there. Um, we've got high moisture corn as well, which we could do, which could be quite interesting, just something a little bit different. Um, so we've got options available to us. We've got options. Uh, but for now, we will top up the feeder and we will go and get the cows fed there we go just under there hit the R button we'll take all of that thing in here which is very handy I'll get them a little bit more full so we maybe don't have to fill them up as option often now which is good there we go that's us full for now everything that we had in there so we'll just run this over, get them sorted, we'll check on the animals as well, I don't know how quickly they're growing, but hopefully quickly enough. So there we go, while that unloads we will just jump in and check the animals. Um, that's filling up nicely. Health is good. They're coming to puberty, so some point in the future we'll start to see that price going up, hopefully. Now look at that, we've almost filled the troughs, so that's great. Now I did notice as well, if we just pull out of here, and jump out quickly. 
If we just check inside here, I did see that our invisible built-in manure heap is starting to bear fruit. Now I'm kind of hoping we can get a relatively big pile of manure there. Um, and we can utilise it on the fields, but we'll see. We will see. Let's shut this before the cows escape. I'm going to clean this as well. This is filthy. So we'll get on and do that. Well, I think we'll leave it at this juncture for this episode, but thank you very, very much for watching. Um, I didn't feel like we did much there, but uh, at the same time, we've created a whole new field which is ready for planting when we are ready to go with that. So we have made um, definite inroads. Um, really, it's a case now of just waiting for these other fields to ripen and we can harvest them. So there's a big, I think there's a big episode on the way coming up very soon. So we'll uh, we'll look forward to that. And then it's going to be full-blown planting and cultivating season and getting everything ready for next year. So um, lots and lots to look forward to. Um, it's nice, this series. It's, it's fun. I like playing with a slightly older machinery and the smaller fields is uh, definitely different to everything else and um, I'm still getting a kick out of it so hopefully you guys are enjoying it still too uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see that I'm not doing yet and uh, we'll see what we can do about it but other than that thank you very very much for watching um, as always it is much appreciated and if you like the vid please hit that like button and uh, if you're not a subscriber feel free to join if you enjoy the content other than that, I will leave you to it and say thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.